my pulse raced at the astounding accomplishments of the mercenary known as Demon Lord. I forgot about my job and read everything I had on hand. Around the time Demon Lord received his nickname, South Belka showed signs of weariness regarding the war. Because the region was set up as a defense line to protect the birthplace of Belka in the north, the people's dissatisfaction had reached a climax. The cities declared themselves demilitarized and peacefully surrendered to the Allied forces. Unable to establish a defensive position, the Belkan army kept retreating to the north. The end of the war was fast approaching. I was given an opportunity to interview the former aces of the Belkin Air Force. Back then, they were the masters of the sky, and they had also known him. So I crossed the border to follow his trail. I wanted to capture the war and the demon lord from their point of view, to capture the voices of those who were there. Indigo Team Commander, former member of the Belkin Air Force, 7th Air Division, 51st Tactical Fighter Squadron, Dimitri Heinrich, an ace whose precision and grace in flying earned him the title of Blue Heron. Today he has his hands full with the family business. Well, that day, right before I deployed, my airspace assignment was changed. Initially, my squadron was assigned to the Stable Eastern Front. That was changed to Area B-7R, the round table where casualties were recorded at a fearsome pace. It's also the place where I met him. It was just two planes, him and an eagle. And yet our lead force didn't stand a chance against them. I could tell he was good and it was going to be bad for us. But there was something else I noticed. He hesitated. A vulnerability that can be exploited. I was certain I would win. The pilot was still young. He had yet to master the rules of combat. But in the end, I was shot down. Gelb Team is number two, former member of the Belkin Air Force, 5th Air Division, 23rd Tactical Fighter Squadron, Rainer Altman. He flew the skies of Directus during the capital's liberation, and he's still there to this day. I met him above this very sky. I can still hear the sound of the missile alerts from that day. I received an order to fly to Directus on my way back from an intercept mission on the southern defense line. The order itself wasn't unusual. We kept being deployed from one mission to the next without receiving even the basic maintenance. But the situation was the same all around. We were late reaching the operational space. The station squadrons had already retreated and warning bells were going off in the city and the people were walking up to his plane, high above the sky. I, I couldn't see any emotion in his maneuvers. I didn't feel like I was fighting against a human being. I wanted to end that battle as quickly as possible. Silver Team Commander, former member of the Belkin Air Force, 51st Air Division, 126th Tactical Fighter Squadron. Dietrich Kellerman. He was once the top ace at Belka and a fiery instructor at the Air Force Academy. In 1995, the Belkin Air Force sent him to the front lines to bolster troop morale. He was good. From what I'd heard about him, I thought he was still just a young mercenary. But he matured since then. 
He still wasn't perfect, but I could see he had come a long way towards understanding the rules of combat. What's important on the battlefield is to let go of hate, to survive, and to adhere to the rules you've set for yourself. These are the rules I've taught my students. And when I saw him, I could tell my time was done. A new generation had inherited the sky. There was no more need for an old soldier like me. Every time I flew with him, his skill stood out. He was unstoppable. He was cool-headed and proud. A combat professional. Demon Lord fit him perfectly. Maybe the man was blessed by the goddess of war. Before long, everyone had taken notice of him. More and more would show up to watch him go off on sortie. Mercenaries or maintenance crew, it didn't matter. People wanted to burn his image to their memories. Hell, they weren't the only ones. The Belkin forces are beginning to take flight. The industrial city of Hoffna is crucial to the enemy's industrial strategy and the heart of its war productions. The Allied forces have decided that all Belkin war production must be stopped to expedite the end of the war and has requested our participation in this operation. The operation will primarily involve the bombing of ground facilities by the Allied forces bombers. Your mission is to support those bombers and attack enemy facilities. We have achieved near total air supremacy over the target area, but don't let your guard down. There may still be sporadic resistance.
unknown craft on radar. The blip is barely visible. It may be a stone. Pursued by Allied forces, the Belkin forces have taken flight, abandoning Hoffner. Without military production capabilities, Belka is in a bind. We were also able to confiscate samples of what seemed to be experimental weapons from the abandoned war factories, before Belka had time to use them. 